Hey second graders, this is Mr. Fries, and today we're going to do a math problem with my dog Scoop and one of her friends. Listen carefully for important information. At the park, Scoop skipped rope 65 times without stopping. Lucy skipped rope 20 times without stopping. How many more times did Scoop skip rope than Lucy? Use your RWD process. Let's see what Scoop has to think. So Scoop thinks um, that word more seems really important. So it looks like I'm looking for a difference between Scoop and Lucy. And I think I know what difference means. So I'm going to make sure I read the question closely, draw a picture, write a number sentence, and write a word sentence. That's my RDW. So ask your teacher to press pause, and please try this problem. Okay, so we're going to make some drawings to help us understand this problem, and to help me figure out what I want to do. Well, since I'm looking for a difference, I think that I know 65 would be my whole, 20 would be a part, and I'm really looking for the other part, because this bubble right here would be my more. That would tell me how many more I need to make 65. I could also draw a tape diagram where 65 is my whole, and then I've got two parts. I've got my 20, which is Lucy, and I've got my more, which I don't even know yet. So I've got a couple pictures there to help me, and I think this can help me write a number sentence too. I think my number sentence is going to look like 65 minus 20, because I'm looking for a difference equals something I don't know. Now what I can do is this is a great place for me to use a place value chart to help me. So I'm going to draw my place value chart with tens and ones. There are no hundreds, so I don't need to draw a hundred. And I have six tens. What I like to do is I like to write the numbers first and then make circles around them so I have the proper fit. It looks like I have six tens, so I'm going to circle all six of them, and that should represent the number 60. I also have five ones, so I'm going to draw five ones, and I'm going to circle them. Notice again, I drew the number, and then made a circle around it. And since I'm going to do subtraction, I'm looking for a difference, I need to take away what Lucy did. Since Lucy skipped 20 times, I would take away two tens, and that's going to leave me with four tens and five ones or 45. We could solve this problem a bunch of other ways, right? I could have taken 20 away from this, from 65, 20 minus 20, so I would just have to know that 65 is made up of 45 and 20. Now the very last thing I have to do, I read my problem, I drew some pictures, I wrote a number sentence, now I've got to write a word sentence and state my answer. My answer was about skipping rope more. So actually I think my answer is about being more. So I think my answer statement is going to sound like 45 more. And I think I've done the whole process here. R, D, W, and then on my last W I wrote a real sentence. So let's check out what Scoop thinks. So did you know that exercise is not only good for your body, but it's good for your mind? When you exercise, your brain releases a chemical called endorphins, which makes you feel happy. It's just another reason why exercise is cool, and Scoop loves to go play and run. So this weekend, make sure you get outside and play in the snow. Have a good weekend, second graders.